The lift judders into life, slowly creeping up to the fourth floor. It reaches its destination and spits me out. I pause, exhale loudly, my shoulders slumping as I proceed to the door to enter my place of work. Uniform rows of desks occupied by various drones. Oh, it's only nine o'clock and busy already. Roll on another wasted day of hopeless self-loathing. My name is Eddie and I work in a call center. It's not good news, I'm afraid. We're closing down the Dublin operation. Closing? It no longer makes sense to keep going. Well, I think it's a mistake. There's good people out there. There's a lot of companies over here that are paying over the odds for Irish staff. Looks like you priced yourself out of the market. JJ should have sent your sister. I preferred her. <laughs> Lewis is a very helpful fellow, all right? It's just, you weren't here to ask. No, Lewis, I was at home sick with pneumonia. Well, thanks. I was told this morning that we might need to make some adjustments. Adjustments? What do you mean adjustments? Okay, it's not second. Oh, whatever. You're not going to get rid of me. They wanted to join the rat race. They can't start complaining when things go to pot. Well, have you told me? Tell me what? No. I'm waiting for you. Well, I don't think it affects you anyway, Jim. You haven't done a tap since last Easter. Oh, he was probably caught by the police for trafficking Russian schoolgirls or something. <laughs> yeah, well, Jesus, there's a right air of mystery around here today. Have you got a problem? Has anything ever not worked out exactly as you planned it? I bet it hasn't. This place is getting riff, Glenn. 